Within your properties menu, you will find an area called Price Seasons. This is a really handy function, and what it lets us do is add in pricing with the set date ranges for that price, and we can save that across a group of properties or individual properties that all follow the same pricing. The first thing we need to do to enable this is give the group a name. And then underneath, we can set whether this pricing is going to include short breaks. So from the drop down here, we can select the short break model that we use for these properties, or if it's only weekly pricing, we can say don't allow short breaks. So my properties do allow short breaks. I'm going to select the model that I use and then click save. You'll notice that that automatically pops it down here into this drop down. Now, if you have any other price seasons already up and running, they will also display in this drop down. So you'll see that I have two other groups here. But we're working on the Sea View Apartments right now. So what we would do now is we would give the season a name. So I'm going to start off with low season. And then I would pop in the week price. And if I had short breaks enabled during this time, I would work through and pop in the short break pricing. Now moving along to the end here, we just need to click add season. And what that does is it then opens up an area where we can set the date range for this low season. So I can say that I would like this to start from today and I can take that right through to perhaps the end of May. When I'm happy with the date range, all I need to do is click on to add date range and that will save weekly pricing for those dates and we can continue. So perhaps low season will start again later on in the year and it follows the same pricing. I can take this right through and say that I'd like it to start from September up until the end of October. Again, click add date range and that will save it for you. Once you're happy with all the pricing at the bottom here, you can then decide where you would like that to be copied to. So you've got the individual properties, you can select this and it will bring up all the properties within your account and you can just use the control key to highlight and copy across to those individual properties. If you use property groups, you can copy that across to the relevant group. If you're using our agency account, you can copy that over to all of a particular owner's properties. And if you're using price bands, you can copy that over to those group of properties you have set within the bands. Now, if you want to check that the pricing has been saved properly, you can go straight into the property price planner and that will let you view the prices. As soon as we save any of the pricing and the date range within this page, it automatically goes through to the property price planner. If you're just testing this and you want to delete what you've done, you will find that you've got the delete options for each of your prices and the date ranges. And also you've got the overall delete. So if you want to delete the whole group and start again, you can delete it from there. Within your properties menu, you will find price bands. And price bands are a way of grouping properties that all follow the same pricing. So all that you're doing within the price bands page is giving that group of properties a name. So that could be price band A, B, C, or one, two, three, whatever you want to call it. And then what you would do is once you've given the price band a name, you need to go into each property and within the settings page, under availability chart options, you'll find the price band drop down. So at this point, all you're doing is selecting the name of that group for the price band and saving the property to that. Now, what you must do for the lead property is make sure that all the pricing within the price planner is set. And then that allows you to copy pricing you can go to properties, copy and copy prices. And this will allow you to copy 
from the property where you've saved all of the prices to all of the other properties within that price band. So it makes adding the, pro the pricing for your properties so much quicker.